Good morning and welcome to my channel History with Hansa. Today's video is going to be a very short video on the timeline of the history of Europe because if you have to understand the history of Europe it is very essential to first understand the timeline to understand the ages or the periods into which uh, Europe, uh, European history has been divided into for a better understanding. Uh, therefore, we begin uh, today with uh, a discussion on the different ages into which the European history has been divided and we also intend to discuss the various modes of production that existed during each age. So basically, uh, European history has been divided into three ages, the ancient age, the middle ages and the modern age. The ancient age was also known as the age of classical antiquity and let us look uh, uh, into these ages in detail. So the ancient age or the period of classical antiquity was uh, from the 8th century BC to the 5th century AD and it was divided into a number of sub periods. The archaic period beginning from the 8th century BC to the 6th century BC the classical period 5th century BC to 4th century BC followed by the Hellenistic period followed by the Roman Republic 5th century BC to 1st century BC then the Roman Empire 1st century BC to 5th century AD and finally the period of late antiquity 5th century AD to 6th century AD. Uh, this ancient age uh, was thus classified into a number of ages about which I have uh, just talked uh, about. Now the mode of production that was prevalent during the ancient age in Europe was slavery. The means of production were slaves and uh, they were the ones who did all the production activity of the economy and they were the ones because of whom income was generated in the economy. But the slaves were an exploited lot. The masters exploited the slaves to the fullest and there were a number of means through which slaves were acquired. They were either prisoners of war or they were bought and sold or they were gifted. But the basic relationship between the master and slave was that of exploitation. Now as we see that slavery is uh, gradually disappearing from the society, we say that the medieval age or the middle age in Europe has begun and the middle age in Europe was characterized by a different mode of production which was feudalism. So the middle ages in Europe uh, begin from the 6th century AD and they continue up to roughly the 16th century AD. They are again divided into three phases, early middle ages, high middle ages and the late middle ages. Now, uh, in uh, the Middle Age, the mode of production was feudalism. The feudal lords used to give lands to uh, the serfs. The serfs cultivated the land and in return for which uh, the feudal lords collected revenue uh, or tax from the serfs. Now, the feudal lords collected revenue from the serfs on a highly exorbitant rate and the, slave, and the serfs were thus exploited by the feudal lord. So just as in slavery, the relationship between master and slave was a relationship of exploitation. So in feudalism, the relationship between feudal lord and serf was that of exploitation. Also, the Middle Ages in Europe have been termed as dark ages because there was darkness in a number of fields. There was darkness in the field of language and literature. There was darkness in the field of technological and scientific innovations. There was darkness in the field of religion. The Roman Catholic Church had become a corrupt institution during that period and it was unjustly dominating over the people. So in a number of areas, the entire Middle Ages were full of darkness and therefore dark ages is the term we use for the Middle Ages in Europe. Now, as feudalism was, we find as feudalism, as we find that feudalism was disappearing from uh, the European society and a new mode of production was emerging, we say that we enter into the modern age in uh, Europe. Now, the modern age also saw the beginning of Renaissance and the Protestant Reformation movement. As I said, the Middle Ages were characterized by darkness. So Renaissance and Protestant Reformation movement through the ideals of humanism and realism brought about uh, 
uh, or ended the darkness in the field of in 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 the different fields for example there was uh, a revival of language and literature that language and literature which had fallen into darkness in the dark age uh, there were technological and scientific inventions and above all the protestant reformation movement had made every effort to end the darkness in the field of religion to uh, end the unjust domination uh, and corruption of the roman catholic church so the modern age uh, actually is characterized by capitalism capitalism in which two classes were there capitalist class and working class the capitalist class um, invested capital into the industry and profit was the only motive of the capitalist class the working class was working on machines in the industry and in order to gain profit the capitalist class uh, exploited the workers to the fullest the capitalist class gave less wages to the workers made the workers work beyond their capacity so once again the relationship of uh, relationship between the capitalist class and the working class was a relationship of exploitation so we so as we move from one age to another age in uh, europe we find that the modes of production change and also the major characteristic features of different age also change now it was very essential to uh bring before you a timeline of the european history because unless you understand the timeline of the european history it is difficult to understand the major events that took place in the history of europe so th so this was a humble attempt to uh identify the different ages of uh, the history of europe i hope you find this video very helpful in further understanding the history of europe if you like the video please subscribe to it and also share it thank you